Hey guys, what's up? Today we're gonna be making a very simple meteor dodging game. So let's get straight into it. So first of all, I'm gonna delete this cat. We don't want it. So I'm gonna choose a backdrop. So we're gonna be making a space game. So I suggest we go for a space backdrop, but you can do anything. Um, I'm gonna go for the nebula. Okay. So next I'm gonna choose a sprite. So there's gonna be a rocket ship, I believe. Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna go to costumes. I'm just gonna delete the rest because I don't really want them. I just wanna make this one really simple. So I wanna select the whole thing. So I don't want you to click this. I want you to select the whole thing, right? I want you to shrink it down. So this looks like a good size. I just wanna again, pick it up and, oh, oops. See, that's what I meant. Um, let's select the whole thing again. So we center it a bit. So now I want you to move this rocket around, drag it and move it around. So I think this seems like a good place. So the meteors are going to be falling like this. And we're going to be able to move it right and left. You could also um, turn this around. Yeah, you could also just turn this around to zero if I can get zero. And you could also make it with the meteorites come like this. But yeah, that's a whole different thing. So in this video, we're going to be doing it uh, like this. So I, you just move it around until you find a good spot. Um, So this is my good coordinates. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to start this game up. I'm gonna go into events when flag clicked. I want to set, I want it to go to this particular coordinate. So I'm gonna go to motions. I'm gonna take this. So next, what you wanna do is you wanna make it so that if you click a few arrow keys, you can make them move around. So we wanna loop it. So you want it to keep doing it until the game is over. So we're going to do forever. If then, I'm going to go sensing, key, space, press. Now you can change the space to, let's say, right arrow right now. So key, right arrow, pressed. What this is checking is, are you pressing the right arrow key? This isn't on yet. So if you want to test it, you can... Um, so you can click this green flag and you can't really make out that but now it's going to change a little so we're going to say um, change x by 10 so now if you try moving it you'll see it moving right but if you try moving it left there's nothing because we haven't put the code yet i'm going to duplicate this again and key left arrow for that now even though i'm pressing the left arrow it's still moving right, so I want to change this to minus 10, right? Okay, now you can check you've got a fully functional and moving rocket. Great. Now, let's go on to the asteroids. So, just looking for rock. Yeah, rock looks like a cool thing. So, I just, again, you want to go to the costumes. And select the whole thing shrink it down yeah this looks like a good size to me i'm gonna center it okay great now that i'm done i'm gonna um, see another one flag clicked so whenever i click this flag this thing starts up forever um if then Let's, um, yeah, sure. So let's, we want to make it so that this thing does it over and over again until it hits the ship. So we'll go to that part later again when flag click, meaning if you click this, it starts up this code. So now let's go on when flag clicked forever. 
we want it to fall down and when it hits here we want it to go back up again but we don't want it to stay in the same place we want to move it randomly so we'll first get down to pushing it down so first let's tell it to go to now i want it so the y is up and down and the x is left and right so pick a really high y let's let's just drop it here and check 159 so I'm going to write the y as 159. I'm going to leave the x where it is for now. We're going to change that later. So now, now that we know the y is minus, we want to repeat until. So this is the repeat until in control or the control repeat until. We want to check the x. So we're going to go to operators. Y position. So again, here I'm just gonna explain it after we finish this code. Y position less than let's say um let's just put minus 150. Now that we go minus 150, repeat until y position less than minus 150. We want it to change y by negative. So we want it to keep scrolling down. Let's let's go for minus four right now and we can change it again. So now if you click the white flag, you should see this. Yep. So as you can see, it's constantly moving around. I think that's good enough. Now again, I want to add a quick code. If. Then. Want to go to sensing and touching. I want to change this touching to rocket ship because that's what our ship is. Then I want to go to um, control and I want to stop the game, right? So I put it in a stop all. Now, if you want to test the score, now even if I'm clicking the keys, it doesn't move at all, which means the game is over. So now we want to make this X random, right? We go to operators, pick a random. Now, as far as we know, it's minus 240 and 240. These are the edges for the X. But I don't want it to go off the screen like halfway through the screen. So I'm just going to go with around um, minus 220 to 220. Okay, there we go. Now, when flag clicked, it's going to dodge it. Oh, you saw it move. Yeah, there we go. It's randomized. Perfect. Now, this is really easy at this point. So I'm just going to duplicate another right click and a duplicate and now i'm gonna start the game up because this is gonna be a lot more difficult okay um yeah this all seems to be working so thank you guys for watching subscribe hit that like button